In this video, you'll learn how to automatically re-engage inactive subscribers, which will help boost your newsletter's engagement and open rate. Here's how you can automate the process. To get started, log into your Beehive account and go to Write and then Automations, and then click on New Automation. From here, under the Workflow tab, you'll see an option to create a new trigger. This trigger is the first part of the automation, and this automation won't start until this trigger goes off. In the context of this automation, we want a trigger to go off once someone is labeled unengaged. To start, click on set trigger and here you can find an unengaged trigger along with different options. From here, you can set a criteria for what you consider an unengaged subscriber. This could look like a subscriber who hasn't opened and or clicked on one of your emails in the past 21 days, for example. In this case, I'll leave the criteria as that, 21 days without opens or clicks. Once you're done, toggle this on and hit confirm and then hit save. After a subscriber is labeled unengaged, we want an email automatically sent to them that they can interact with so that they can show us that they're still interested in receiving emails. To do this, click on the plus button and hit send email. Now hit the settings icon in the top right and click on create new email. In this email, you wanna type out a message asking the subscriber to engage with the email in one way or another. This could look like clicking on a link or a button or even just opening the email. For ideas on how you can re-engage subscribers, you can check the link below. In this example, I'll be creating an engaging subject line and preview text and asking the unengaged subscriber to click this button if they're still interested in receiving emails. Now go back and make sure you hit activate as well as save. Next, we wanna see what the unengaged subscriber does after they receive the email. For example, if they click on the button, we can label them as an active subscriber, but if they don't click on the button, we can label them an inactive subscriber. To automatically label a subscriber as inactive or active, depending on what they do, click on the plus icon, but this time choose true slash false branch. Now we're gonna click on the settings icon and change the time delay to three days. This means we're giving the unengaged subscriber three days in order to click on the button in the email. Now click on custom conditions and add a new condition. So here I'll have days without clicks is greater than or equal to three days. If your time delay is four days, you would do four days. If your time delay is one day, you would do one day here. Now make sure to activate this and go back and save it. Now you see two different options. One is true and one is false. This means if the condition you set is true, something will happen. And if the condition you set is false, something else will happen. So in this case, the condition is days without clicks is equal or greater than three, meaning true would be inactive and false would be active. So go ahead and press the plus icon under true and click on update subscription. Hit the settings icon once again and set the status as inactive. Now activate this and save it and do the same thing, but for false. So press on the plus icon and click on update subscription. Now press the settings icon and set the status as active. And of course, make sure to activate and save this as well. Now subscribers who haven't clicked or opened one of my emails in 21 days will automatically be sent an email asking to click a button and they'll have three days to respond. After those three days, if they've clicked on it, they'll be marked as active. If they haven't clicked on it, they'll be marked as inactive. That's it for the tutorial. If you want more automation tutorials, check the link below.